It is not a very well-known story, but a small northern Michigan town was the victim of a Japanese attack during World War II. Corey Adkins has the remarkable story in this week's Northern Michigan In Focus. When that happened, I was only four years old, so nothing was ever mentioned in our home about that. What Nancy Sanders is talking about is a Japanese attack that happened on our soil in 1945 in a town that today thousands drive by every day, Miyawataka. I had never heard anything about balloon bombs. Near the end of World War II, the Japanese launched one of the first intercontinental weapons ever created. They were called Fugos, or balloon bombs. They launched over 9,000 of them into the jet stream in hopes they would land and explode all over the United States. Each balloon was loaded with four incendiaries and one 30-pound high-explosive bomb. Their purpose? To land in the cities and forests across our country and cause panic. One of those balloon bombs did land in Miyawataka, but not before being spotted in Cadillac first. Two young men that were playing on the the roof of a building down in Cadillac and when they seen these balloons go over they wanted to find out what it was and so they got the family car they headed out to look for the where the balloons was going to land and uh, interestingly enough it came to me right by the general store and by the time they had gotten there the balloon had landed and uh, it made a deep hole about 12 inches deep it's six feet wide and it had detonated and burned the faces of a lot of the people that were there at the time. Though the folks there that day did get hurt, they didn't lose their life. From the over 9,000 balloon bombs launched, only about 300 made it across the Pacific Ocean. Six people did die when one exploded in Oregon. And back then there wasn't much news on these weapons. The military and FBI told anyone who came into contact to not talk about them at all. Because they didn't want the Japanese to know that the, the bombs had actually reached the United States. So it was never talked about until about 15 years later. And because of that, that's probably why the balloon bomb that hit Miyawataka is not a very well-known story. For Northern Michigan In Focus, I'm Corey Adkins.